Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Sapphire. We are jumping in once again and we are gonna go and try out, see what we can do with a little old run as a tainted character. Who should we take a look at? We're actually getting so close to completing everything right now. I'm still having really a hard time with Blue Baby, I know. That's been like my problem character. Um, let's do a tainted lost run. It's been a little while and we're not on a super high streak or anything right now, so I feel like it's the right time. Um, to give it a go and see if we can make anything happen with this little dude. I do very much like our Tainted Lost runs. They're always fun. Um, always a bit of risk, but I mean, risk is just... Oh, it's great. Like, I think Binding of Isaac, one of its best features for me as a rogue. Like, obviously its replayability is fantastic. Oh, um, apparently we start with Cracked Crown as this guy. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to quickly... Um, one minute, let me get these guys taken care of. I'm going to quickly disable that because I think this character's strong enough as it is. Um, enabled, Tainted Lost. So I want to turn off The Lost. I want to turn off Tainted Lost. There's a few others I need to turn off, but we'll get to them. Um, and I'm going to do a restart because honestly, I think this character is one that just doesn't need anything additional to start with. Um, like, Cracked Crown is also a really, really strong one to start with too. Um... But yeah, I see no need to have extra starting trinkets as a character that's already so strong. Um, ooh, yes, that's... Oh, actually, I don't know. How does that work with this guy? Do I still get the coins or will it not, let, will it not let me pick up the hearts? I don't actually know. So that might not be a item that works very well for us. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, bugger. Okay, just, just restart. <laughs> I kind of wedged myself into a bad situation there. But anyways, how is everybody on this fine, fine day? How is it all going? Oh, dude. Okay, let's uh, let's get a bit serious here and stop playing like an absolute moron. Um, and hopefully, we can have a good time as this guy. Because at the minute, things ain't going too well. Things ain't going too well. Uh, but yeah, as for the question of the day today, um, hmm, what's a blocker in your life right now? What's something that's stopping you doing something that you want to do and? How are you planning on solving it? I feel like everyone's got blockers. Uh, at the minute, for me, uh, like, my sort of big thing has just been that, like, I really like my job, and my job's, like, pretty convenient. I get to work the hours I want, pretty much, and I work from home and stuff, so my job's really convenient. But at the minute, um, we've been uh, live-streaming, like, football games and things like that, and it's, uh, like, I've mainly been the person, like, doing all the scheduling and stuff, and it's kind of taken over as, my, um, as like, my main part of my role, and, dude... It's so boring. So my big blocker at the minute is just like, I need to find a way to sort of do more with my role and get more enjoyment out of my job. Because although I like my job, it's just so unfathomably boring right now. Um, <laughs> so luckily I can break up the monotony with uh, with some YouTube videos here and there. I do need to get back to doing other games on my YouTube channel. Obviously, many of you will have noticed that I've um, recently I've just been playing Enter the Gungeon. Sorry, Enter the Gungeon. I've recently just been playing Binding of Isaac and uh, Nuclear Throne. And that's mainly for two reasons. One, the Darkest Dungeon series, although I love it, obviously it's not a super high viewership uh, series. Um, nice, got everything there. It's not a super high viewership uh, series and it does take a lot of effort and time. So it's kind of one of those series that it's a little bit more... Um, well card. I was going to pop the well card. I'm not going to take it to the next floor with me, am I? I mean, I, technically, I could have done. Uh, let's pop this real quick and just do that. Nice. Um, yeah, so it's kind of one of those series. It's a little bit like... It takes a lot out of you, sort of thing. So I'm, I'm taking a break from that for a while. And then Enter the Gungeon, I've just been playing on my channel. I can't believe that guy got me. I've been playing on my channel for so goddamn long now that it's kind of like I need... I needed a break from Enter the Gungeon, like, real badly. Um, hmm. Let's just pop this down somewhere with a full floor space. And give this a go. Ayo, okay. So although we don't have the card we want right uh, the, the holy card active right now, We've got a good start here, so I'm willing to, to let this one ride. We'll, of course, take the gift card. I might even use it this floor if our boss item ends up being crap. So we'll see how that goes. And hope we get a holy card relatively soon. I, I swear with this character, I tend to lose my holy card on the first floor so often. Ooh, has there been an update to Fiendfolio? Because I swear I have these bosses normally disabled. 
Or maybe I maybe I don't. I can't remember. I've got some bosses disabled. I can't remember if this is the ones that one of the ones I done uh, do have disabled. I just, it's been a while since I fought this boss, so I thought I thought like maybe it was. There you go. Anyways, we got him. Or at least we almost got him. There you go. Nice. Ugh. Definitely won't be gift carding that bad boy. Okay, this is a very, very good run, so it's kind of unfortunate. Um, we've done Mother, but I am going to quickly go in here and see if we have a curse on this floor. We do, and that's... What curse is that? I don't remember. I think I want this curse. I can't remember which curse is which, I'll be honest. This is... What curse is this? Curse of Decay, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Cool. Get in there with one of those guys. Come on, game. Give me what I need. I've got good damage and stuff right now. You don't want to screw me here, dear. you? Curse of Decay is mostly fine. There's some situations in which it can be a little bit rough, but... Oh god, this guy can just destroy rocks. I will take this pill. Shot speed down. Um, reveals the boss room. The boss room exit is replaced with the dodge of the treasure room. That's pretty cool. So, one thing I'm curious of is, can I use this to save a key? By the sounds of it, I can. If so, that'd be interesting. So, go in here. Damn it. My shops, like, the quality of my shops have been so bad recently, I swear. Okay. Extra key there, just in case things go awry. I do not like this situation. Yeah, that was very close. And we got you as well. Good, good. Another key, just in case. And another key, just in case. We can actually use this one to... Crack that chest open real quick. Uh, right, so go in here. It's boom time. Okay, cool. Well, this trinket has worked exceedingly well in the way that it has just not. Um, the boss just hasn't died. Give, uh, oh wait, no. Debug 10, maybe? Okay, there was technically an enemy still alive, apparently. Fair enough. We'll definitely take Jesus Juice here. We'll have a look at this. We'll definitely take a theme here. God damn, this run is looking spicy. And then, yeah, it does save us a key by doing this. Oh, it just, no, it just doesn't work. Okay, so this trinket is getting dropped because apparently it just does nothing. It must be bugged. What mod's it from? Fiendfolia, weird. Normally Fiendfolia stuff is pretty sound. Odd to see uh, one that just doesn't work like that. But anyways, let's pop through here. Stranger Tractor is dangerous as shit. Uh, that's why I'm going to take it. <laughs> Secret room-wise, it looks like we're probably right there, right? Um... Give that a go. No, maybe not. Okay. Uh, could be up here as well. No. Could be down below over here. So Dark Path Mega Satan is the way to go right now, but we've uh, we've already thingied our... Uh, we can do Beast, though, I guess. There you go. We'll definitely take that at least. Yeah, Stranger Tracks is a dangerous one that most of the time is obviously not worth taking, but I'm a risky bisky. I like I like taking these risks. And honestly, this run's kind of meh. It's good, like we've got some good stuff going on, don't get me wrong, but we don't have a holy card, and I've already taken a devil deal when I should be going Mega Certain, so it's already a bit of a bust. It's already not the run we would have hoped for, so we'll just kind of see how this goes. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that we've got a theme and all that going on. That's very, very nice. Oh, 
Also, actually it's quite nice for pulling enemies into the Ethereum rings. Especially once we get our uh, perfection going. That could be quite quite the nasty little setup we got going on, actually. We're getting Soul Hearts Galore right now. Absolutely Soul Hearts Galore. Oh, dude, these, these guys are firing off real fast here. Calm down. There you go. Uh, we're on a key here. I would like to go to my shop to check for a holy card, but I want my key for my item room, obviously. Ah, bugger. This is actually a really hard room right now. Okay, thank you for that. A theme. That room was very scary. Nice one. Some extra bombs. This guy is a, is a boss I'm not super familiar with his attack patterns. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, be prepared for me to die. Holy God. Not having a holy card just screws you so hard here. Um, I'm going to gamble here. 120 volts, not super useful. Pointy ribs, decent. Okay. The poops kind of screwed me there as well. Let's just keep this going and see, see what's what, shall we? Keep this rolling. Oh, we got contraband off the bat. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Wasn't expecting that. Do like a bit of contraband. What we got going on here? Oh, baby. Okay, this... This is what we call a good run. Now, remember we're trying to do angel deal here. Let's not forget that, shall we? Let's not forget that. But this is what we call a good start to a run here. No holy card there. Although there is the uh, store whistle, but... With our current active item being a contraband, I'd kind of rather keep that right now anyways. This is good stuff. Right, griddle boy. Honestly, not a huge fan of the setup of this room so far. There's a lot of fire to deal with. Okay, we got him. And we got a tears up as well. Good stuff, good stuff. No cares going down to the next floor either. We can hand in our contraband for a few items and see what we end up getting. We got ourselves Mysterious Liquid, very good. This GMO Corn's risky, but I'm going to take it. Okay, unfortunately, unfortunately, I got fucking Horf, which I just forgot existed when I used that. I should not have been standing so close to the wall. This is such a good run that just got ruined by that Horf pill, so... This could all come crumbling down fairly suddenly now, which is real annoying. You watch this be like the best item room possible as well. No. I mean, to be fair, Little Fiend's pretty good, but I wouldn't say best item room possible when it's a quality zero, would you? Yeah, this is a little annoying. A little bit peeved about this, I'll, I'll be honest. A little bit peeved. Right, holy card, come on. Damn you, game. I'm not even using the uh, Lost Re Redux mod at the minute, which I really should be. I don't know why I've got that disabled right now. Now that I've got my new PC, I can probably re-enable that pretty safely, so I probably should. Right. <sighs> good, good. Squeezy. Very nice as well, of course. We're going for Angel Deal here. Yeah, this is this is one of those runs that you just know is going to die to a horrible, horrible death, but it's just so good. Oh, I have to do this for the chance at cards. We can Emperor card out of here if we wanted to. Probably a good idea, actually. Okay, this this could come tumbling down pretty quickly. That was close. We got perfection already, lovely. Range doesn't mean much, but there you go. Perfection's nice to have, at least. Yeah. 
Come on, game. Don't screw me over too much. All I need is a little card. Lots and lots of uh, bombs sitting around at the minute. Come on, boy. There you go. Open your face up. Thank you. And you, good sir. Thank you. We've got a secret room over there as well. God damn, this is annoying. Dude, the troll bombs. What's going on? Like, every chest has a troll bomb in it right now. Didn't even see that there. Didn't even see it. Just walked right into it. I I swear those things couldn't deal contact damage anyway. That's where on a previous run I walked right into those and nothing happened. Oh, it's because I have flight. It's because I have flight, of course. Didn't even see that there. Ah, <sighs> well that's a fucking huge fuck you, isn't it? God damn it, as if that half pill, like of all, literally any other pill would have been absolutely fine. A starter deck. I, I still think, is, is Solar Jacobides that one, the one that still crashes? Pretty sure it is, isn't it? Well, that's decent start. Now that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Damn it. That dude couldn't have paid out, could he? If I don't get two pennies this floor now, I will be a bit pissed. <laughs> I will be a bit pissed. Sorry for my snivelly nose, by the way. I know some people absolutely hate that noise. It's not even something I'm consciously doing, so I, I, I mostly apologise. Come on, pennies. Okay, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. I need one more penny. I know what you like, game. We've not even got a bomb to get a secret room or anything here, so it looks like we're going to be a penny short of getting a very good item for this character. Tis the way it goes. Well, there's a second holy card, at least. Um, oh, we got a fucking... Three of spades. We got a lot of good cards here. We can, we can only take one, unless we had one addi additional penny, then we could take two. Oh, the gamble paid off. Right. Come back to you. Nope, 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 nope. I want whipworm. Right, now, now we can get starter deck, bring a holy card, and take the black market. Beautiful stuff. Very, very happy. Right, move on through. Keep it moving, keep it grooving. Grab ourselves a holiest of cards. And grab ourselves a joker. Pop the joker. We get ourselves birthright. Unfortunately, only birthright, but still, pretty good stuff. Go down with an extra holy card. Okay, now this is a good run. Not quite Tech X Mysterious Liquid levels of good, but we have an extra life which I think makes it better. And we actually, actually to be fair, we have an extra holy card and an extra life. We, we are really set in terms of... Uh, in terms of survivability right now. God damn, that, that enemy scares the shit out of me. It just moves really weirdly. So we are obviously still on the lookout for a second holy card if we can get one. Don't have the money right now, but we'll see if we get it. Careful the shooty boys. And then nothing else here. Do the boss now. Good old horn. These little fellas can kind of spook me out sometimes. 
Luckily, their three hit kill, so not that bad. And this guy, now that we've got the warning lasers mod, this guy isn't so bad. Because you can actually somewhat see the uh, laser beam coming. That was close. We're going thingy, uh, angel deal here, so we don't want that. But yeah, range up, bit iffy. It's not terrible, to be fair. Getting getting up to nine range is like sort of the. I'd say anything over eight is usually pretty good. Quickly hop in here. Potentially pretty good here. Damn it! This is not where I wanted to be. <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake! This could have ruined things. Um. Hmm. I could just take the, the potential beast play here. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go for the beast. Because my angel deal chance is pretty shot there. Look, Penny's lovely. Yeah, star, um, star of the Bottomless Pit is just so good. Obviously slightly dangerous with the uh, explosive boys, but for the most part it's good. See what we got going on in here. Wow, we a good old bit of data miner. God damn game, too generous, too generous. I apologize, I had to sneeze. I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. Feels a little like it. Hey, there's our last penny for shop item. Throw a cursed flame. Um. Yeah, seems pretty good. Let's grab that and go. Down we go, yeah. It's gonna be a little old beast run. Can't believe we've already done delirium and stuff as this guy. We've done a lot of this as this guy. <laughs> Damage is all in the room. Um Ted's pedestals the locusts. Nice, okay. We'll take that for now. That will leave. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Oh, you bastard. I don't like him having a baby. That that really threw me off, that did. I shouldn't have flown over the pit there. Probably don't need to use my candle flame all that much um, outside of bosses, but it's still nice to have anyways. Like most enemies are just dying too quick for it to be that sort of important. The flame fades away real fast as well. Nice. Item room, what will you hold for me on this joyous of days? Okay, got rid of the annoying enemy out of this. Those guys are really annoying. Decent enough. Wow. Four of these guys? Okay, they all just blew up. I think a locust spawned and killed them all. Not bad, not bad. There you go. We're kind of speeding through right now. I'm still just miffed about our tech X loss, the. That could have been something real special. Small rock? Yeah. As I said before, ask and you shall receive. I wanted small rock. I asked for small rock. It gave me small rock. Boom. And we take perfection here, and we're down. Good stuff. Now we need a way to constantly generate blue flies. That's going to really increase our damage output with our Star of the Bottomless Pit. We can get permanent generation on that. A little fart there, no thank you. You're a bit of a tyke. Good, good. Almond milk. 
Hmm. Almond milk, you say. Oh, we can take both of these. Uh, I'm gonna take that. You may be asking yourself, why did you take almond milk? And I may be saying, I don't fucking know. Because it's fun, I guess. We've got good damage, so I thought it's not a terrible idea. In fact, we've still got 3.43 damage. Our damage is actually excellent. And there's an extra holy card as well. We are one cent off an additional holy card right now. That's really good to know that we've got an extra holy card if we can get a penny, which I'm sure we can at some point. It'd be very, very strange to not get a penny over the course of the floor. Okay, gotta be careful of these fellas. Of course, they're the worst. Penny in here, maybe? Nope. There you go, baby. Got our boss. Snake oil is actually decent, I'll take that, but I will, first of all, uh, go and get my other holy card, just in case. Degars? Eh, I guess I can hold Degars, I guess I get a bad curse. Right, go buy my additional holy card, and then I'll, I'll fight two bosses for snake oil, to be honest, especially when I've got three explosive locusts right now, because that means I'll do quite a lot of damage with those guys. Keeper's Sack also just fantastic if we could afford it, but right now we cannot. Right, in we go. Give me those big, big tears. See? Just annihilated. This guy again, just a boss that I'm not comfortable with at all. So we beam the hell out of him. Lovely. Now it just looks like we have absolutely gigantic tiers, like really high damage. We got fortunes, whatever. But yeah, this makes our uh, active even more prevalent now. Extra 1.5 times damage to those enemies that are hit by it makes uh, killing bosses a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> secret room. Unfortunately not a very good secret room for us, but there you go. It's a fun run. I'm liking this. I do love a good almond milk or soy milk run. They're, they're very fun. Okay, all that's taken care of. A few extra keys, and... Oh, damn it. That was very, very bad by me there. I tried to use my flame, and it, it, it just got stuck on the wall. I forget it doesn't have spectral. Nice tears up there. Sadly, still no devil deal there on a 72% chance. That's an unfortunate miss. Quickly check in here. Yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, we got something very good out of that, actually. Unfortunately, we did get a really rough room here. But it's not something we can't handle. Yeah, Gorgon's real good. Basically, just one enemy is permanently frozen in the room. Oh, that was close. He almost covered up that spike chest. That was close. Yeah, unfortunately, the way that um, the way that he spawns means that hitting spike chests is going to be way easier than normal. So we've got to be very, very careful about them. 
What? Uh, excuse the fuck me? I don't even know what hit me then. I think a burn like flew out and got me. It's an annoying way to lose a holy card charge. Dude! Gorgon, you little prick! He's, see He's sitting in the perfect position to completely block. Gorgon! You fuck! Fucking shit, bitch! Crap on a cracker and fucking shove it down your face, you fat piece of fucking cabbage farming crap, bitch. Fuck you. I'm so pissed off. I was like, Gorgon, I was singing your fucking praises. I was singing your praises, sweet, sweet boy. And you screw me not once, but twice in a row. And that room was pure evil. <laughs> Got hit so many times in that room. Ugh. I was too flustered to continue with that room with a in, with sound uh, being of sound mind. It was just, it was too much. It was far too much to comprehend. I'm, I'm peeved. But nevertheless, we shall prevail. Nevertheless, we shall prevail. Dim bulb, probably better. Burger bombs. Ugh. Imagine losing like three holy cards and um, a birthright so, so suddenly. Never thought it could end so suddenly. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. More enemies in the room, the more damage. Oop, I burped. I apologize. More enemies in the room, the more damage we deal. Oh, goddamn. Easy. Defib's not bad either. <laughs> ah, we'll take this one. I was just seeing what the curse was. Now that I can actually see the curses, it's kind of worth uh, paying attention. Good. Easy. That's very good as well. We got some very, very good items right now. I love it when you get like all modded items, but they still work together. Even though like they're from different mods and weren't really designed with each other in mind. Now what we need is we need a quad shot or triple shot. That would that would make this insane. If we get quad shot or triple shot, this this gets real nutty. Because Eve's Mascara is just absolutely... Well, Eve's Nail Polish, sorry. It's just absolutely broken. You no longer need fire rate ups. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this this uh, superiority, whatever it's called, is, is real good. I'm not quite sure why it looks like a pack of cigarettes, but... Let's not look too deeply into that. Quickly check the shop for an extra holy card. Sadly, yeah, I keep, I keep getting these goddamn shops from fucking Fiendfolio. I think maybe there's a bug, because it says, look, 
Fiend Folio, regular shop level one. I, I don't think level one shops should be spawning. I think it's a bug. That was close, little fucker. Bit of a boss of this to go in here. Unfortunately, yeah, definitely Fiend Folio has been updated recently because these bosses should not be showing up. We're going Angel Deal, remember? Let me let me see when Fiend Folio was last updated. Workshop. Um Last updated. When did Fiend Folio catch an update? I don't know, but either way, I'll, I'll go and I'll go and tweak that soon. Cause that I have disabled those bosses from appearing. Cause I do not like them, and it was working for a long while, and I was enjoying my life. I was loving life. It was great. Ooh, gift card, lovely. Truly is a gift. And we do get... Okay, so what's this? Allows you to restart the room and guarantees better rewards. Oh, that was better rewards. Okay. Um, guess this is better for now because we don't have an active. Good stuff. Secret is probably below us, but I'm not going to gamble on that right now. Love, love, love this. Don't want to gamble my keys yet. Let's see if we get any more. Nope. No bubbles for you, thank you. No bubbles for you, thank you. Ha ha ha! What are you gonna do, boys? What are you gonna do? Just jump up and down to the water? Yeah, useless. Love the faster death animation mod. Making clearing rooms and killing bosses. So much less tedious. Like, I love Fiend Folio, I've mentioned it many times, but goddamn do the death animations take way too long for most of the bosses and some of the enemies. Good, good, good. But slightly extra angel chance, why not? Very much so, thank you. Very much so. Just want the stats. Justice, why not? Okay, we got 2020 at least. That's very good. This should be insane fire rate. I, I don't know if it worked as well with 2020 as it does with triple shot, but it's still going to be good. This is a very good run. We just need more holy cards now and then we'll be sitting very pretty. Okay, it doesn't work that well with 2020. Oh, no, it does, it does. It works, it works. It's just not quite as strong as it works with other stuff. But it still works. 
There's some damage. There's some perfection. There's unfortunately an active we don't particularly care about. Don't like how this room is going right now. Okay, we're good. Give me that. Gift card that. Yep, much happier with that. Much, much happier with that. Okay, we are good to go. Yes. Yeah, do do not whatever, whatever like the uh, delirium thing, so. Cool. Right, let's keep it moving. But yeah, we get a massive fire rate bonus at the start of every floor. Which paired with um, nail polish is going to be very, very good. We should be able to clear most floors before that even runs out, to be honest. Obviously, unless we want to do some backtracking. And here we got... Shoop is actually pretty goddamn good. Um, based off our damage as well, so it means some insta-clears for a few rooms. Um, Quaker Oats is kind of meh. It's good, but like I don't think I need it right now. Yeah, we're going to be beaming through rooms to start with. We've seen our item room and stuff as well. Oh, for every fucking time with this guy. I really wish he'd start, like, opaque so you know he's invincible. It's really goddamn annoying, I swear. Really goddamn annoying. Um, yeah, I should go down here. <sighs> Ooh, this is worth doing for, um... Damn it. Didn't mean to pick that up. That kind of screwed me over a set for a hot second there. Not taking the pill, to be honest. This run's too good to be taking random-ass pills. Super nice. Get beamed my ladder. Two extra bombs for that, nice. Oh god, some of these rooms are stressful, man. Got a devil deal for some unknown goddamn reason. Fuck's sake. Still absolutely hate that that can happen. If I've taken a, a, a key piece especially. Someone needs to make a mod where if you take a key piece it just guarantees all angel. Because trying to do stuff as like the lost is just impossible. Chastity? No, headless baby. Still going to try and find the shop here. Technically, that is useful. I'll grab it. Saves us one key. Not a lot, but it's something. It's gonna be a long episode if this run goes the distance. Die, fella. That was close. 
This should should pay out with more money than I put into it, or give me an item. More options, nice. I've only got one more floor for that to be usable, but it's something. God, the game feels so much faster paced with these faster death animations. It's so nice. Deep pockets is good, especially when we've got this thing that allows us to uh, get stats for buying stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, away we go. Not any sort of rush here for boss rush or anything like that, so that's good. And we go down. We go down, down, down. Okay, use that fire rate as much as we can early on. Didn't really use that to its false effectiveness, but there you go, it's fine. Okay, we got Curse of Conquest here, so we do have to be a little careful. Not too careful, just... Champion enemies that, like, do on-death effects are going to be slightly more problematic. Only slightly, mind you. Dude, the soul hearts are just so numerous right now. Good, good. Oh, we should probably peek into our character room as well here. While we have the opportunity to. Ah, bugger. Actually pretty useful. Damn it, I was hoping for a secret room item there. Didn't get so lucky. You need to calm yourself down, little laddie. That's not worth it. So much money right now, so we can buy a good few things. Where art thou, shop? Thank God I had shoot the whoop, because that could have been annoying otherwise. Oh, fuck, that was very close. I just did, kind of froze up there and didn't move. Of course we got this prick. Last shop to spend our money and gain some stats, and it's like, no. Why would we let you do that? We've not seen that item room yet, have we? No, we haven't. Let's quickly go back and make sure we get that. I'm pretty sure that second secret room as well. Of course, it's a bunch more money. I don't know what most of these rocks do because I forget what the symbols are, but I'm at least testing them. Um, unfortunately, both of these are pretty trash for me. Let's go. I took the full card so we can get free boss rush item if we want one. Don't know if you heard that notification. I apologize if you did. There you go. We're doing dark path here. Mum's perfume, we'll take that. The fool. Not that we really need Mum's perfume, in fact the fear shot might be slightly detrimental to us, but there you go. Right, sadly nowhere to spend our money here, it's very sad, but we shall move on with our lives. Go, go, go! Should have taken that shoot the whoop charge there. Don't know why I didn't. Hey, we got XL floor here. That's potentially quite useful. It means that um, we're getting more out of our what's it called as well. Um, more out of our uh, Job's robes, whatever it's called. Job's rags. Let's 
Stay away from those pricks. Just hope I'm going the right way here. Never really any proper way of knowing. Sadly, we were not. Just trying to speed through so I can keep my Jerbs Rubs thing going as long as I can. Loving having Shoop the Whoop right now. Making rooms like that a lot easier, but sadly, still more of the wrong way. I know I'm ignoring a lot of stuff on the floor right now, but it's just because I don't believe I need it for the most part. Um, I don't think regular chests can drop... Um, oh, fuck. Forgot what those enemies did. I don't think regular chests can drop... Um, what's it called? Cards. Why well, I took the risk there. God damn it. Lost our full card, uh, our poorly card effects. Very annoyed about that. Oh, oh, what the fuck? What kind of attack is that? I ain't never done seen that before. The only thing we're getting an XL for, there is just an infinite number of wrong ways you can fucking go. It's very annoying. Yeah, I don't, I didn't know what these guys did. I didn't realize they fired when they landed, so I kind of just stood there. Stop giving me spike chests as well, game. It ain't fun and it ain't fair. Right. Again, can't really remember what you do either, so... We'll see how it goes with you. Coat hanger's good. I'm gonna do an extra room to get out of the charge here. Really? Really? You managed to You managed to get this attack off? Are you kidding me? God damn you. Oh, I'm so stressed now. Checking all the chests I can just in case, but... <laughs> I'll just keep most of our fire right here, so it should be a fairly quick kill. What? What the fuck? I think I just walked into the fucking foot. Ugh. Why'd I have to lose the holy card? Anyways, enough stress for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.